The surgeon, Judge Tom. It seems that they have captured, arrested and brought you here too. Sonny, what is going on here? And I see Justin and Annabel next to the judge. Um, Officer Simon, these people are giving us angry stares at us, all of us. Oh my god. All these people, they are, angry at us. I feel like something is wrong. I am very scared. Oh my god. Seeing all these people makes me feel uncomfortable and scared. Well well well. Looks like we have more criminals appearing who abused Justine and Annabelle in my courtroom. Hey! Who are you to call us criminals? Justine is a criminal and should be in jail and... Shut the hell up sir. You are criminals because you are all corrupted, abused Justine and was involved in the child abuse case. Anyways, now that the wanted criminals are here, let's continue with the session. Alan Butler and Kate Salomo. You are being convicted for the following charges, and that includes being a strict teacher and principal, abuse of power, putting Justine in long detentions, called her parents to give her a punishment day, allowing child abuse at your school and for bullying Justine. What do you have to say to yourselves? Well, Justin is a very terrible student in my class. She never pays attention and causes trouble in my class and ruining everybody's life. Not only that, she insulted me and the students with George and stole my car once, and she even threw a desk at me and injured me a year and a half ago. Yeah. She even blew up our school twice a year ago in the fall of 2022. She also prank called 9-11 on me having a heart attack and other bad stuff she has done. After doing that, I called her parents to give her a very bad punishment day by her parents. I allow child abuse because she needs to be taught a very hard lesson not to be bad ever again. So yeah. She deserved to have a punishment day and be forced to live with her abusive and evil red parents for what she did. That is no excuse for you both to ever do that to your student. And I believe the reason why she did those bad things to you and blew up the school twice was because of the way you treated her, permanently banning her from recess and put her in long detentions. You, should be ashamed. You should realize that school staff cannot abuse their students like that. You are a horrible excuse of a teacher and Principal Alan Butler and Kate Salomo. Hey, you do not speak to me or Principal Salomo like that. Who do you think you are? You should be. Shut your mouth Mr. Butler. I didn't give you permission to speak. You should be ashamed of yourself for how you and Principal Salomo treated Justine in the past. Alright, next up, the four wanted officers named, Mark Hamilton, Tony Smith, Mark Marquez, and Simon Hernandez. You four are being convicted for the following charges, and that includes, siding with child abusers, allowing and supporting child abuse and criminal activity, corruption, abuse of power, resurrecting criminals, and worse of all, giving Justine and Annabelle punishment days. What do you both have to say to yourselves? Justin is the worst person in this universe. She has caused a lot of terrible crimes like blowing up Carvel ice cream, McDonald's and her own house and her elementary school twice, prank called 911, assaulted her teacher and classmate named Doska, and killed her parents at a hotel. So I called Craig the Devil to revive Justin's parents and make them evil, evil parents. She deserves to have to live with her parents abused for all the crimes she has caused. But that wasn't the only time that happened. Justin let her parents get killed by criminals while on her vacation to South Sudan, so I had to fly over there to revive them with Craig the Devil. As a result, so I gave Justin and Annabelle their seventh punishment day. She level called me because she got cold for Christmas with Annabelle. I pretended to arrest her parents and trick them. Justin and Annabelle deserves to live a very horrible life and be abused by her parents. Oh, and that's not the only time she called us. Back in July of 2023, I even got a call from them about her being abused. The reason why she is being abused this way is for doing a lot of bad stuff she has caused in the past since October of 2022. She has to learn that she must live a terrible life for all the trouble she has caused, I allow child abuse, because it teaches kids a lesson to never, ever, be bad kids. Oh. And she even tried escaping from her parents with Annabelle back in December. A hotel manager kicked her parents out of the hotel and took away their daughters and gave them to his brother. 
Her parents called me and I had to track them down. And this is not my choice to do this. The judge said to keep an eye out for Justine since she is a criminal and she has two options, either go to jail or be abused by her parents almost daily. Oh, I see. So you four officers along the corrupted judge that we have in the courtroom right now allowed child abuse to Justine? Are both even real officers? That is not how police officers work. You were supposed to be helping Justine and Annabelle with her problems, not allow child abuse. The reason why Justine and Annabelle caused all these crimes was mainly because of her abusive parents. You four make very terrible excuses of a police officer. Excuse me. Do not call us that. Justine is nothing but a criminal. And we are not corrupt in any way possible, you are, cause you're nothing but a. Shut the hell up Mike Hamilton. You and the other three officers are corrupt, you allowed child abuse and sided with child abusers. This proves you criminal activity. You should be ashamed of yourselves for what you four did. Okay, we will now move on to our next criminal, Judge Brandon, you are being convicted for the following charges. And that includes, corruption, supporting criminal activity and abuse of power. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, Justine is a terrible girl, she deserves to be abused by parents and should force to live with her red parents, being abused every day and living a horrible life. She did so many bad stuff such as, being demoted and held back, blew up her school twice, blew up Carvel ice cream, Hagen Dawes, McDonald's, and her house twice, injured Mr. Butler and her classmate Oscar. Pulled the fire alarm at school, prank called 911 on her principal, threw a violent temper tantrum at school, stole Mr. Butler's car, burned down her juvenile detention center and killed her parents at a hotel. So she deserves to be abused daily, be put outside on a snowstorm with Annabelle, and have 10 punishment days. Oh really? I heard what she did, and I do not care. It could be because of how abusive her parents were and you sent the police to go after Justine and refusing to help her with her problems. You are a terrible excuse for a judge. No! Justine is a very bad girl, she cannot escape from her family, not this time. What kind of judge are you? All right, Judge Brandon. That is enough. You now have lost your will to speak, you should be ashamed of yourself for what you did. Next up, is Oscar Rodriguez. Oscar Rodriguez, you are being convicted for the following charges, and that includes, snitching harassing and bullying on Justine Quinn Scudder, getting her into trouble at school, arson and property damage. What do you have to say to yourself? Justine is the worst classmate of mine. I remembered back in the fall of 2022 that she beaten me up with a frying pan in the school hallway, and she has even did the same thing to me in October of 2023 at her juvenile detention center. And she deserves to be abused by her psychopath parents and live a horrible life with Annabelle. Oh really? I don't care about what Justine did to you, it might be because of how you treated her and bullied her constantly. And I even saw from Mixed Up Grounded series video that you disguised as Justine, broke into her house, and put a hole in the wall and got Justine into big trouble with her parents. And you even made fun of her for having red and evil parents. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you did. Are you kidding me right now? I didn't do anything wrong. All that was Justine's fault. If she has never. Are you kidding me right now Oscar? You bullied Justine at school and her juvenile detention and then broke into Justine's house disguised as her and broke a hole in her parents' wall? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Yeah Oscar. We didn't raise you this way. What the heck is wrong with you? Do you realize how much damage you have caused to Justine? We cannot believe you did all that. Oh just wait till you are found guilty. Your parents are right about you Oscar. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you did. I will now move on to the nurse, Nurse Grace, who is being convicted for psychological abuse and medical malpractice. By giving Justine surgery to remove her adult memories. What do you have to say for yourself? I was notified from both the police and Justin's parents that they wanted me to brain with Justin's adult memories. They told me that Justin turned herself back into an adult and told me to brain with her memory for punishment so I went and did the surgery right away. So you really had to have Justine's memories of when she was an adult be wiped because of the police? You need to realize that they did this for the purpose of abusing her daughter. Still, you did illegal brain surgery on Justine anyways, this proves you support criminal activity. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you did. Next up is Craig the Devil. Craig the Devil, you are convicted for the following charges, and that includes, 
supporting criminal activity, allowing child abuse and resurrecting child abusers. Craig, what do you have to say to yourself? Well, Justine deserves to have her parents be revived three times. The first time is after she killed her parents at a hotel, Officer Simon told me to revive her parents and make them very, evil, parents. The second time I had to revive them was in October, two months after her parents were executed by the electric chair. And the last time this has happened was when Sonny and Alice Scudder were killed by criminals at Sutton. Justine deserves to be abused along with Annabelle and be beaten up by these evil red rage monsters. So you had to revive Justine's parents three times, oh you just wait once they die. Because once they do, nobody will revive them, because all of their friends including the wanted officers will be in prison and you will go to super hell and their bodies will be locked in a beyond logic proof casket. Yes I did. Alright. Now let's move on to our final criminal. Ms. Trenchpool. You are being convicted for child abuse, child endangerment and for psychological abuse. I saw a video of you throwing Justine in a padded room with glass shards on the floor. Do you realize that is child endangerment and child abuse? What do you have to say for yourself? Well the padded room is a chokey, and Justin is the worst person in the world. I remember seeing her escape the juvenile detention center once to go to McDonald's, she even tried to steal my wallet. Even worse. She burned down the juvenile detention center. Shame on her poorly. And she deserves to be in the chokey, get beaten up by her parents and have a punishment day. And I allow child abuse, because child abuse is a good thing and makes life better. Are, you, kidding, me, a chokey? Are you trying to kill Justine? I cannot believe, you would do such a thing like that. Putting her in a padded room with glass shards on the floor, that is child abuse. You are a very horrible excuse for a juvenile detention mentor for doing that. Shame on you. Hey! How dare you call me that? And besides, Justin deserves to be put in that chokey for being a bad girl. You know what? Once I'm done, I am going to put you and everyone in this courtroom in the... I, said, enough. Miss Trenchbow, you will not threaten anyone in the chokey. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you did to Justine. What you teach Justine is nothing, but making her become even worse. Anyways, how does the wanted police officers, Oscar Rodriguez, Miss Trenchbow, Craig, Grace the Surgeon, and Judge Brandon plead? Um, not guilty, Your Honor. I agree with Judge Brandon. Not guilty. I agree with them. Not guilty. Same thing. Not guilty. I plead. Not guilty. I agree with Oscar. Not guilty. I agree with Oscar and Mr. Butler. Not guilty. Right. I plead. Not guilty, Your Honor. Me too. Not guilty, Your Honor. I agree with Officers Simon and Smith. Not guilty, Your Honor. I agree with Officers Mike, Smith and Simon, not guilty. Oh really? All that evidence of you either child abusing Justine or helping their parents with punishment days and you all, pleaded, not guilty, I cannot believe it. So I am going to call Cooper Collins' parents to the stand. Thank you. Your Honor. Hello. You must be Sonny and Alice Scudder. Right. You people are the most insane child abusing wet rage monsters I have ever heard of. Sonny and Alice. We saw your video of you both giving Justin a birthday punishment day. You made your daughter eat dog food then you made her watch all episodes of Sophia the First. Then you video recorded herself being embarrassed in public. My entire family is in complete shock after seeing that video. We have four kids in my family, and if they do something bad, we would ground them, but never, ever, give any of my kids a punishment day. I agree with my husband. We even heard that you both beaten up your daughter Justine over not getting any snow in your area twice. Once because of the snow melting and another one for the warm weather. You are very crazy people. How on earth were you not arrested for that? That's right. Sunny and Alice. You both are extremely and mentally ill road cum wannabes. And because of you both giving Justin a birthday punishment day. She received the worst birthday in her life because of what you did. I agree with my husband. To top this all off. Me, my husband and our four kids, Cooper, Mia, Keegan, 
and Melody Collins plead that you are guilty.